Hey folks, Mikey Bly here, and today I am playing Hobbly Hoy by Genesis, who made Voices of Friendship. And this is, if you were reading this and actually understanding it, then you were very talented because we were writing it, we were questioning our education. I think that's it. <laughs> Productions. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, this is great. I love it already. They did this for a game jam. And, you know, I sort of pop up and I'm like, oh my god, Genesis made another game. Oh man, even if it's, even if it's just a game jam game, I really want to play it. And look at this. And listen to this. I love this. New game. Continue. Quit. <laughs> oh, I love it already. I love it so much. But I don't even know what it's about, so I guess we better start playing it. Oh man, if you haven't watched Voices of Friendship, I get to pick a character. Choose your character. They, they are all pretty cute. They, I like all of them. But if I'm being honest, I am the super massively pale one, so I guess I should pick a weak that one, shouldn't I? Um, sorry, if you haven't seen my Voices of Friendship playthrough, um, by these two amazing peeps then you should totally check it out or you can play the game too if you haven't played the game you should play the game i'll pop a link to the game uh, voice of friendship the previous the full big huge like rpg adventure game um, below this um and link to this game too of course but um sorry i'm getting ahead of myself we should actually play some hobbledy hoy first so let's do this oh cool you can really customize this stuff i am am i more this or this I might be more this might not i yeah, I think I am, huh? Inner child mode? This mode will give you the true hobbly hoy experience. The words in the game will not be translated, so it'll be like you're reading a story written by a child. So have fun trying to figure out what the story is trying to tell you. Example, I need you to choose a mode, please. Or mature individual mode. This mode will give you a more laid back experience of a hobbly hoy. The words in the game will be translated, so you don't have to figure out anything. No. I want it in a child mode. If we're not going to play it properly, I don't want to play it at all. I'm going to play the proper mode. Confirm se confirm settings. In a child mode. Are you ready for your adventure, little one? Of course I'm ready. I have been ready. I am more than prepared for this. I want to just get it on, get it sorted, get it done, get it begun. Let's do it. Hmm. One second, please. Of course. Well, hello there, Rabisco. How are you doing today? I'm doing great today, Miss Alkid. Alkid. I'm trying to see if there's any hidden meanings in the names. It's always a good day when I get to play with my best pal, Umni. 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 <laughs> oh, you two are just the cutest. Oh, is Mr. Alkid around? My dad wanted me to tell him hi for him. That's a load of dots. Mrs. Alkid, there's just a load of dots. You're not actually saying anything. Um, why don't you just go ahead and meet up with Umini? Umini. Umni. She's in her usual spot. Oh, oh I'm okay. Well... Bye, Mrs. Alkid. Have fun, Rabisco. Interesting how she didn't respond to whether Mr. Alkid was around. Hey, you scribble. We call her scribble. I love it. I love the style. Look at it. It's adorable. It's literally like a scribble, like a little sheet of pip. Oh, my God. Rabby. <laughs> what is this, a little secret handshake dance? How have you been? I've been... Ah, uh, okay, I guess. Oh, just okay? Well, that sounds like a drag. Hmm. Bing bong. So, Scribble, uh, have you been working on any new stories? Oh, um, I mean, yeah, but... Oh boy, I can't wait. I love hearing your stories. Is it almost finished? Well, is it? It doesn't have an ending yet, but it's pretty much done for the most part. But I don't think you want to hear this story. It's boring. 
boring, like drama, not 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 kid friendly stuff. Even though I'm a kid and I wrote it, yeah, it's not for you. Huh? Why not? You're the best storyteller I know. Rabbi, this story isn't like the others I've written. I don't know. I really feel like you're not going to like it. Scribs, I don't care if your story is different from the others. I'd still love to hear it. I mean, come on. How am I going to be your biggest fan if I haven't heard all your stories? Don't, don't want to get all, don't want to get all Annie Wilkes on, on you or anything. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, well, please, Scribble. I promise I love it. You have my word. Scout on it. Cross my heart. Hope to die. And I'm such a kidling I don't know what dying actually means. So I assume it means to like, you know, colour something. Because that's how it was spelled in my speech bubble. Oh, alright. I'll read you my story. Yay! I can't wait to hear it, Scribble. Come on, let's go to our usual spot. Yeah, okay. I don't feel like we should have forced her to read the story to us, but okay. Let's go to a little tent for and I love it, they've used the same emoji faces as they did in Voice of Friendship, but like kid versions of them. Oh no. <laughs> okay, Scribble, I'm ready when you are. Um, Scribs? Didn't mean to be pushy. If you really don't want to read your story, we can do something else. No, it's fine. You're my best friend and you're right. As you said before, you can't be my number one fan if you don't hear all my stories, right? Even the ones that I don't think are very good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, here goes. Chapter One. <laughs> uh, the many. Um, Rabbi, can I have a few minutes before I start reading? Of course. Take all the time you need. I'll check up on you in a few minutes. Oh, how to pray. Move prayer. Fast forward dialogue. I don't want to do any of that. Open menu. Okay, well, I'm going to go and do some wandering. This shelf has pictures, drawings, and shiny rocks on it. Shiny rocks are my favorite kind of rocks. I really don't get why many like rocks so much. But it makes her happy, so it doesn't bother me. Rocks are awesome. Rocks are awesome, Rabbi. Do you not understand? Hey, that's the rock I gave him any when we were playing at recess. His name is Bob the Boulder. <laughs> Bob the Boulder. Please tell me that's a Bob the Builder reference. <laughs> oh, Bob the Boulder. Can we crush it, Bob the Boulder? Yes, we can. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Look at all the different kinds of markers and coloured pencils many has. So cool. Even all this stuff looks really cool. I shouldn't touch any of the bench stuff. That's a nice, sensible, good friend you are. What about this? Whoa, Scribble must have been storming a brain about new story ideas. Storming your brain. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love it. I better not read them. Don't want to ruin any stories I haven't heard yet. Uh... This is where Scribble keeps all the stories that she's written. I always get excited when she tells me a new stories ready. Now that I think about it, is it bad that I've heard all these stories? There has to be like 1,000 of them on this shelf. Only a 1,000. That's a small imagination for a kid. There's like a million bajillion of them. That sounds more... Mm. Nah! I can never get enough of Scribble's stories. They're the best. It's so super adorable of you to say that. Oh. This draws some of the many toys in it. Mm, there sure are a lot of girly toys. But I mean, I guess that makes sense since she's a girl. Maybe I should bring some of my cool toys over next time I'm here and then she'll make up mommy and daddy buy her cooler toys. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea. Wait, are we a boy? Well, I guess we could be a boy. It's hard to tell. We're maybe a tomboy. Um, okay. This drawer has different kinds of papers in it. Line paper, construction paper, paper that has little cartoon animals on it. That final one is the best kind of paper. I mean, I guess it's good to have ver... Uh, ver... Uh, ver... Uh, 
that long word that I can't say. Oh man, I forgot that grown-up word. But anyway, it's good to have different papers to choose from when she writes her stories. Yeah. This drawer has extra blankets and pillows in it. Scribble and I always ask our parents if we can have a sleepover. But Scribble's parents always say it's not a good time. I mean, will there ever, ever be a good time? Ugh. Grown-ups are so weird. Yeah, well, you just wait until you're a grown-up and you don't want any of your daughter's brats staying over. I mean, friends. Friends, that's what I meant. Not brats. All right, well, I guess can't have sleepovers. Bit suspicious that the parents say it's never a good time. We probably just can't leave the room. Yeah, no way I'm leaving. Still haven't heard of any story. So I guess we have to go and listen to the story now. Are you ready? Should I scribble if you're ready to read a story? Yes, yes, and more yes. Well, I have looked at every other possible thing I could possibly look at, so I think it's time. Although, wait, maybe I have to look at the fort, the tent fort thing. Damn it, no, I already read that, no. Okay, yep, yeah, okay, we're ready, we're ready. Yes, hey, Scribble, are you ready to read your story now? Y yeah, I'm ready, okay. Still feel a bit bad, because I still feel like I was kind of pushy, but uh, hey ho, let's begin. Billy Lulu. -lu -lu. Whoa, it's even more kid-like in here. Oh, this is great. As days go by, Scribble never really, really knows what she's going to get. It's like it's a gamble getting out of bed and going about her day. This is going to be fun. The mornings are the hardest for Scribble. She gets snatched away from her colourful and captivating dreams to wake up and uh, wake up in a home that's full of bland expectations. Tell you what, she might not be good at spelling all these grown-up words, but she's amazing for even knowing them. Scribble, it's time for breakfast, her mummy shouted from downstairs. I'll be right down, mummy, Scribble shouted back. <laughs> I love this. Every time Scribble walked down the hallway to get to the kitchen for breakfast, she spelled out hope. She always carried this hope that it will be a normal morning, but with every step she took, the hope that she carried so dear to her heart would always fall off of her and die. That's a little bit crushing right there. She's left hope behind. She's literally left the hope behind. <laughs> Oh, this is a autobiography. The breakfast looks nice, a croissant and an egg. I like that kind of breakfast. Good morning, sunshine. How did you sleep? I slept well. Oh, I had a really cool dream about being surrounded by pretty colors. It was so beautiful. Really now? That sounds pretty epic. I wish I could remember my dreams like you did, kiddo. I never remember my bloody goddamn dreams either. Uh, do you know what? And uh, it's the worst. Sometimes you wake up and you know you've had a dream, but you can't for the life of you remember what the bloody hell happened in it. That's my life nearly every single day. It sucks. I wake up and go, oh man, I'm sure that dream is super interesting, but I can't remember it. But now and again, through the midst of bloody, through the clouds and the fog, a dream will just suddenly, I'll wake up one morning and be like, the dream will be just clear in my mind. Just now and again. It's such a rare occurrence. Oh, I wish I could always remember my dreams, you know? Man. Sorry, I kind of drifted away a little bit from the story. Uh -oh. Hmm. oh, please. You don't even sleep long enough to dream. You're at work all day, and then you come home so freaking late, it's basically morning. Oh, I see. She has parental issues. Ah, could have guessed. That's probably why they say it's never a good time. Never a good time for me to sleep over. Uh-oh. Are you really going to start this mess again? Oh my god, she's replacing swear words with non-swear words. It's not my fault that I have to provide for this family. Mummy? Papa? I, I wasn't finished telling you about my dream. 
I think you both would like it if you just listen. Mm. Provide for this family? Sure you provide the money, but you don't provide anything else. You're always gone, Galen. How about you provide your presence every once in a while? Oh, that's just rich, Mara. I provide the money, but nothing else, huh? You sure don't be complaining when you're at home spending all the money I've made through my blood, sweat and tears. Jesus, what does he do for a living? Dude, dude, donating loads of blood and other bodily substances isn't a job. You know that, right? You, you, you know that's not a job. Why don't... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why don't my... Words? Oh, why don't my words ever matter, Scribble thought. I really thought that today would be different. But of course, it's just like the others. It's crazy how it is. Household works. Scribble continued to think to herself. When the house is filled with joy and happiness, I exist. But when the house is full of sadness and fighting, it's like I'm slowly getting erased out of existence. I feel really bad for her. Really super bad for her. I guess that's the point. Hey, Manny. Just waving through the fog of the story here. Hmm? What's wrong, Rabby? Is the scribble in this story supposed to be you? Uh, hey, could you give me a second? I have to go get something. Oh, um, sure. Just wait here. I'll be right back. Where me go? Hmm. I think I'm starting to understand why you may didn't want to read her me her story. Um. It's definitely not as vibrant and cheery like her other ones. And I know that Scribble in her story is her. Ah, who cares? My best friend is hurting and I need to cheer her up. That's the best friend spirit. I love it. Jen is just a big on friendship, I've noticed. I have an idea. But I'm going to need a mini pencil case. Hmm. I wonder where it is. She usually keeps it out because she's always using it to write her stories. I'm sure I'll find it if I look around the room for a bit. Booby dooby doop. Wouldn't it be in that this one maybe? This is where the markers and stuff are, right? Hmm, I wonder if this draws a pencil case. Yes! Oh first time. That's what I get for paying attention. I'm schmurt. Schmurt, well, inattentive. Schmurt and attentive. Ooh, many pen pencil case. Uh, what you doing over there? Oh, um, nothing. Nothing to worry about over here. <laughs> um, okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Now that I got the pencil case, I should go back to Romani so I can put my plan in motion. Dooby dooby doo. Not be suspicious, dooby dooby doo. Hello, friend. Dooby dooby doo. Tell me some more your story. Now that I got Scribble's pencil case, I'm ready to blow my mind with my most awesome plan ever. I think we are. Hey, Scribble, I'm a back. Um, is everything okay? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Oh, uh, okay. I thought I scared you off with my story. Wait a minute, why'd you have my pencil case? Well, funny you should ask. Aha, oh, you'll see in a second. May I see your book, please? Oh, um, sure. Rabbi, what are you planning on doing? Oh, I just figured I could, you know, spruce up some parts of your story. Spruce up my story? What does spruce mean? Well, you know, it's a type of Tree, but, but I mean, it, oh, you'll understand soon. It's a fancy word my dad taught me. He said it means to like, um, clean up something, I think. So you're gonna clean my story? That sounds silly. <laughs> it might sound silly, but just trust me. I'm gonna bring your story to a whole new level. Now, let's make this story better. Ooh, instructions. Help Rabbi talk 
Take the doom and gloom out of Scribble's story. Interact with things that are bringing Scribble down and see what happens. Won't be the breakfast. It's horrible that Scribble feels like she doesn't exist. No one should ever feel like that. I'm going to do something about it. There. Much better. Oh, I made her smiley. Much better. She took, yay, and she filled in. Oh yeah, and she's not like a shadowy figure anymore. Duh, duh, duh. I don't think I can take too much more of this arguing. I should do something about it. Mm, how can I get them to stop arguing? Ooh. Got it. Wait a minute. Did, what did we? Huh? There. How could anyone argue with someone that looks so funny? Now, it's time for him to get a makeover. Really? Ah, uh, Scribble's mom you look so silly. Uh, since Scribble's mom got a makeover, you should get one too. See y'all can match. Oh, that is hilarious. Perfect! Ha 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 uh, if only life was like a story that we could change like that. Uh, there. Now the argument is stopped. Scribble will feel better. Rabbi, look what you did to my story. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But at least it made you smile, right? Yeah, it did. Thanks, Rabbi. No problem. Well, I know that's not all your story. Keep on reading. I'm all ears. I'm not literally, because that would be kind of horrendous. I'm two ears. Okay. I'm excited. Now that the parents are having a good time, Scribble can have a good time too. Well, not exactly. Happiness doesn't last long in a household. Huh? What do you mean by that? Just watch and see. Uh oh. Why do I look so ridiculous? Dang it, Galen! Did you do this? Oh, I'm so sick of you blaming me for everything. Of course I didn't do this to us. How could I even... I don't even own makeup. You're the one that loves makeup. Oh God, no, I think I hate you. I knew us having a good morning wasn't going to last too long. Scribble decides that going outside, no matter the weather, was better than being in the house. Listening to her parents spew violent words at each other. I love my parents so much, but hearing them fight is really draining. I really wish we could go back to the days when there was so much happiness and laughter in the house that there was no room for hateful squabbling. Squabbling, <laughs> Scribble said to herself. Oh no, Sav, oh no. Oh man, this isn't good at all. The story's falling apart again. Has to be where I can make it better for Scribble. Uh oh, your efforts are futile. What is happening between these adults could not be changed by the likes of you. <laughs> Who said that? I was about to say exactly the same words that I actually said in the game. Creepy. Huh. Me. Oh, hi there, bullhead shadow man. Who, who are you? My name is... Wait, does that say I, Ihon? I am the one that controls these adults. So stop trying to make them happy and let them fester in their hate for each other. What if I don't want it? But I can't let you do that. I have to make Scribble happy. Incompetent child. Children can never interfere once I have claimed a household. Well, there's a twist. What the? Why are there weird blobs everywhere? Hate has infected this place. Is it not divine? Well, I don't know what divine means. Just a kid, you know. But what I do know is that Scribble's parents are making Scribble really upset, and that's bad. 
I don't care how you feel. This family's destiny cannot be changed. I don't care what you say. I'll do everything in my power to help my friend. But I'd like to see you try. Because it doesn't matter how mad you get. You won't be able to help this family. Yeah, well, let's just see about that weird freaky dude. That iron dude is a big fat meanie. Just can't sit back and let him control Scribble's parents. What can I do? I thought changing the story would make things better, but it seems like Ion knows how to use my changes against me. Mm, no! I can't let this get me down. I have to stay strong for Scribble. So what I need to do is figure out a way to get rid of these blobs. Okay, wait a minute. There's a save option. Right. Did that work? It did. Okay. I wait a minute. We've got levels and HP and this, this is the same thing. Voices of Friendship had things like this and it never made a goddamn difference. We also have money that never came into it, so I'm not gonna trust anything that's on that menu there. We're a cheerful lad, also, by the way. So we are a boy, so that answers that question. Um This seems like a good point to put the pause button. Hit the pause button on Hobble the Oi. I, I love it. I love it. I love the style. I love how it's drawn like a kid's drawing. I love how it's told from a kid's point of view. I love this bad guy that we've just been introduced to. I'm not sure how I feel about the real feelings that I'm feeling here. It's a bit too relatable in parts, but uh, you know, this could be good therapy for me. So we'll, we'll come back and we'll play some more Hobble the Oi. Uh, if you want to play this yourself, as I said earlier, yeah, the link is in the description below, along with the link to Voices of Friendship, which is a goddamn fantastic game that you should definitely play. Uh, uh, or at least watch my playthrough up too. That works. Uh, I'd rather you played it, but I'll put a link to my playthrough. That'll be actually the beginning of the video of Voice to Friendship. And I'm going to stop offering. Alright, don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed my first venture into Hobbly Hoy. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button too if you want to pop back and check more of it out. And the other stuff that I play. I've been Mikey Bly. And I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.